everyone uh, today I want to talk a little bit about this concept of prospecting as uh, just to add on what prospecting is and how to find your ideal customers but the scenario I'm going to use today is going to be a little bit different I'm going to show you my dirty kitchen to make my point and one of the key questions is who will do the dishes so to make this point a little bit more clear, this here is a dishwasher. Now, most of the time in sales, what I see and what I've done myself, we try to convince people they don't believe in dishwashers that they should get a dishwasher. Now, this is this is no fantastic uh, and special dishwasher. It just does what dishwashers do. So it's there. it's empty right now, which means those dirty dishes got to get in there at some point. But the whole idea of trying to convince people that don't believe in something to actually believe in it that will work for them is futile that is such a small uh, audience you know in terms of possible people you could be talking to when you are prospecting for your uh, product your services is you actually want to ignore those people it's the same as have you ever tried to convince someone to believe what you believe when they believe like the opposite maybe you believe in some sort of religion and other people don't and try to convince them how how did that go maybe someone uh, maybe you don't smoke and you try to convince people not to smoke how did that go or alcohol how did that go so trying to convince people to do something they fundamentally believe something different is an uphill battle instead there is a whole audience of people we just were tired of doing the dishes. <laughs> that is a much bigger audience set for you to tap in. Now, within that, of course, there may be people who don't believe in dishwashers, but some of them, and a lot of them, probably never thought of a dishwasher as a solution to the problem. What they're thinking is somebody else should do the dishes, or maybe we should wait until the dishes pack up, you know, instead of just doing the breakfast, maybe they only do dishes at lunchtime, I know I've been guilty of that, maybe you have too. And so maybe they're thinking about other ways except a dishwasher. Now introducing a dishwasher to them would be a much better idea for you. And when you're looking at the prospects of your customers, that's who you want to think about. So the whole point of this is to get you to think about how you are prospecting for your new potential clients. You know, don't think about the people that are against it. Stop trying to convince them, you know, that they need your solution. Think about the people that have never thought about your solution or services, you know. So um, when I sold Excel documents uh, to accountants, it wasn't that I was trying to sell them Excel documents. I was trying to sell them their worth in the education, their worth in the time that they invested and that doing VLOOKUPs, wasn't in the promotion line and then you need to think about things differently and you can find ways to you know be creative about your product and service when you are looking for new customers okay so now i wonder what else around the house could use uh, some of the thinking 